We often see many impressive builds people come up with in Valheim, whether it be fortified castles on top of a mountain, or even aesthetically pleasing ones that further enhance a place's beauty. This video has none of those because, dearest viewer, my laptop would probably burst into flames if I were to do that. By the way, I am still planning on making an improved version of the castle, but I haven't found a good island to build it, so hang tight, I'm still going to make that. During the later part of the Middle Ages, wealthy landowners of Ireland and Scotland, plus many ambitious Italian patrician families, often created tower houses in order to ensure that their dwellings are defensible. Some are given the outer wall, or born, as they were called, but some also were just freestanding towers like the one in Tuscany. They were not necessarily meant to resist an entire army, but were instead meant to ward off raiders or plunderers. Compared to larger castles, I find that this type of building would suit the low population of players per map that Valheim has. The building itself was designed in a way to allow the occupants to keep watch of the surrounding landscape and repel enemies that attack the building better. Of course, compared to bigger castles, this design costs less amount of stone, and since it's smaller, it not only saves on PC performance but it can also be built in less than optimal terrain and ensures that it'll take less time for the game to do a world save. Here are the steps to build this by the God Mode guy. Number 1. Prepare the foundation. Use wood floors and walls to ensure that the foundation is not too low or high. Unlike the previous design, this one is shaped like a spiral or maze, since earthenwork designs are indestructible, provided that they are within a ward's sphere of influence. This shape ensures that the attacker must go through the whole floor before they can advance towards the next one. The added benefit of having the first floor being indestructible is that the defender can go nuts with melee combat without the fear of accidentally destroying a wall and collapse the building, and use the place as a choke point for fending off high numbers of enemies. Number 2. Create the stone walls. The second and third floor of this building will have a 2 meter thick stone wall, with a cunningly hidden wooden wall in between as an added safeguard when dealing with arrows. There's two ways on how to build the wall. One can either use the 2x1 or the 4x2 stones. One should never, ever stack walls straight like this. Technically speaking, nothing is stopping you, the player, from making the wall into 5 layers with 3 palisade walls or wooden walls for added protection, but it looks ugly as hell. So, I'm not doing that. Number 3. Add the defensive floors. Remember the shape of the foundation? Here is where this odd looking floor comes in. This design is to ensure that when enemy attackers come and enter the building, the tower's defenders that are equipped with ranged weapons can shoot the enemy without getting body blocked by their own allies, whilst using the floor for cover from enemy shooters as well. Number 4. Prepare the wooden part of the exterior. The top floor will have wood hoardings with machiculations. It will also have an inner wooden wall to protect whatever furniture that's behind it. Suppose that enemies shoot through the arrow slits. To make the arrow slits narrower, I gave the wooden beams a 45 degree angle instead of the conventional method. Number 5. Create the roofing. As for the roof, I gave it 4 gablings so that I have additional room to put things in. Not going to give it an overhanging roof like the one on the Japanese castle since it's not very necessary for this style in my opinion. Then again, you could go for no gables too, since after all, it's your tower house, not mine. Number 6. Add the furniture. Personally, I use the first floor for defense, the second floor for food preparation and spare rooms, third for crafting, and finally, the fourth floor used as living quarters. I also decorated the whole thing so it looks better outside. So far, despite how packed the interior is, this entire spot only has around 3,000 instances, so that means this is very much a great way for people with less specs to play. And you're done. That's all for this video, I hope all of you enjoyed it, and as always, have a great time.